Hey, people, weeklies, what is up? This is Carrots, and welcome to another video. I'm taking over the command block re review series, as you can see in the background, because Wolfie basically kind of gave up on it because he didn't enjoy it. So let me switch to game mode zero. And I have something very cool to show off today. But yeah, um, I am building a house here to kind of like be, you know, the base of operations. Here's the dark, creepy laundry room. It's very claustrophobic. Uh, here's like the main entryway. Here's the dining room. There's the office with the computer. Um, there's a big fireplace. Uh, there's the like kitchen table. Here's the back door. And this is pretty prime real estate. It's like right next to water, so you know it's a pretty good deal. So let me get in the coat closet and throw all this on so that I can manage to actually survive what is gonna go down today. Because it's going to be intense, so let me head on out. So today, we are using the Red Engineer's um, <laughs> Modern Warfare command. So it adds, like, modern weapons, which are really cool. So let's head on over here to check it out. So, and, oh my gosh, this is awesome. So, uh, hold on. If I... If I just drop these all on the, drop those all on the ground, I get a sticky bomb, and you throw it. And what what's going on here? I don't know. It should show up, but you can actually place as many of them as you want. And hold on a mo. This will explode. Right. Or is, or is there something horribly wrong? I <laughs> think something went horribly wrong. Oh, boy. Let me go to game mode one quick. Um, Wolfie and I always have bad luck with these for whatever reason. So... Ah, there it goes. So yeah, it will place that little piece of TNT there. And you can place as many of these as you want. But the cool thing is they cannot hurt you. If you if you throw it on the detonator too near it, it will give it'll just give you back the sticky bomb. Okay. Apparently I'm having a lot of trouble with this. Um <laughs> Anyways, it sh it should work just fine. I don't know what I'm doing wrong. Y'all we're probably going to be better at this than I am. Anyways, you have to get further away from this for it to work. And this is what... I mean, it can't hurt you, but this is what the arm is for, because... It explodes! Let's put that back in. So yeah, look at that explosion, though. That's a pretty big explosion. So, next off, we have another really cool thing. Oh my gosh, this is going to be awesome. It's the flamethrower. So you equip this in your offhand, you have to drop blocks of coal to fuel it, and then you just crouch, and it shoots a jet of flame. And it legit pushes you back, and it burns entities, as you saw that poor little piece of dirt there. But it can also burn leaves, if I... I'm pr I'm like 90... Okay, I think I'm doing something. Do I have to get right up next to it? Anyways. It should be able to burn leaves. Hold on, let me go check the machine. Make sure it's active. Or maybe I have to go in creative for this stuff to work. Which I highly doubt. I think I might just be doing something wrong. You know, it looks like it should be fine. Yep. I don't know. But this might be a good opportunity to try to use the sticky bomb again. Since that didn't work earlier. Shaboom! Dang it. Okay, let's just try it. You know what? 
I don't know why it's not working. It should work fine. It normally does. But in here, looks like I've got some rations. But they didn't cook it, so I'm going to have to cook it myself. There we go. I think I burnt the food. Whoops. But yeah, the flamethrower is pretty cool. And on to the last thing. Oh no, an enemy soldier. Bam, bam, bam. I got a taser. Boom. Oh. It. This guy don't get tased. Is this guy tase proof? I think he's tase proof. I don't know, this is normal. Oh, there it goes. He's getting tased. So yeah, you just, you just fire the taser, and land it near your enemy, and it will shock them like crazy. And as you saw, it doesn't work on players. And it does a lot of damage really quickly. Oh! Take this pig. You can, like, straight up hook it into them like a real taser. Here's my raw pork chop. So, yeah. Um. I don't know what that I'm doing wrong here. This should burn leaves. I feel like we just. I feel like I just. I feel like Wolfie and I just have bad luck with command blocks. But. Yeah. Could feel you just. I already said this earlier. I guess. I, I just want to get this to work. I don't know. I don't know. I, I think I messed up. It's not the Red Engineer's fault. It works fine. It's just I'm doing something wrong. Anyways, that's gonna wrap up today's episode. Oh, my armor doesn't. My armor didn't get scratched. I guess I didn't need it. Well. No, it doesn't protect from the taser. The taser actually goes straight through armor. That's the thing you need to know. That is important to know about the taser. I just realized. It is unaffected by armor. Like, absolutely unaffected. But yeah. Uh, let's... Let's go ahead and hang my coat back up. In the coat closet. But yeah. This will just about wrap up this really nice command block review. It's really cool. Even if I couldn't get to work properly, it's still really cool. But anyways, I will see you all next time. Bye bye